Okay, welcome back to Newcastle Fans TV. Get yourself on the One Football app. It may be the off season, but it will still keep you up to date with the football news, stats, whatever you call it. Take over as well. Yep, take over. One Football has it. So, speaking of takeover, this is pretty much the third day of all this takeover talk Thank malarkey. And Kyle, uh, I believe you have a statement right there on your phone. I do. Let's let's get it up on screen for you right now. In consideration of the numerous speculations in regards to the timelines of the acquisition of Newcastle United Football Club by Bin Zaid Group, we feel the need to issue this statement. Terms have been agreed between us and Mike Ashley. These terms have been reflected in a document signed by both parties, which has been forwarded to the Premier League. The proof of funds statement was forwarded to Mike Ashley's lawyers on the 17th of April 2019. The so-called fit and proper Premier League process is a standard procedure which will take time and we are doing all we can to assist Premier League during this process. We feel the need to clarify this point in order for the fans and general public to understand the timelines. So, as we make sense of that, it's pretty much a case of you look back at you know the Stavely um, su supposed takeover, the Kenyan supposed takeover, and those two never got this far, did they? So, no. what does this mean for the Bin Zaid group? <sighs> it's just it's a, a lot of patience, a lot of waiting, Rob. Um, it's got a lot of fans like myself, like a lot of people watching, really excited at the, at the prospect of we might actually ha have a life without Mike Ashley and what, what's happened with the past 12 years with the football club. It's, it's an exciting time to be a fan, but it's also you don't want to get too ex excited in case you end up with egg on your, egg in your face. So yeah. That's happened many times uh, before with the likes of transfers. Uh, exactly, so you never know if Mike Ashley, but all the signs would indicate with these two statements that would show this ben Benzai group is very keen on buying Newcastle United, which is great for us because it means it spells the end of a 12 year. Feels like a, 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 an evil dictatorship is finally being overthrown. Exactly. Yeah. And. <sighs> You, you, you just think what Newcastle fans have been wanting over the past twelve or so years. Uh -huh. They just want just anyone, even if it's just if, even if it's someone who's I'll got call, one. Paul says Fred yeah. West, anyone. <laughs> even if it's someone who's got one pound fifty in their bank account, but they but they say is willing to spend that. So me, one pound fifty <laughs> uh, on transfers. Get my cash out. Get that person in. But to have an Arabic uh, billionaire yep. in there, I, that 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 is more than what we could have possibly dreamt of. I mean, it's the stuff of dreams, isn't it? You you don't you don't ever think it's going to happen to your team, but it might just happen to Newcastle's. And if it does happen, it changes the whole landscape of what we think as fans. Because at the minute, we'd be happy with tenth and maybe even a good cup run if we can get get one going. But this changes the whole landscape if we manage to get bought by them. I'm not I'm not going to get too ahead of myself because mm. what's the point? You know, under Mike Ashley, we've been it, it's like the carrot's been dangled in front of us so many times. So I'm I'm yeah. just going to ignore the carrot for now. Just sit back. Try Try and not get too too over emotional with all the um, sources that these journalists like to tell were about, and just see we see how see what happens, mate. And earlier today, I spoke to AJT. Uh, we are based in Red. Well, we are in Redcar at the moment. Uh, we've just been filming some uh, bit of fun with uh, Borough Fan TV in preparation for our charity match on Sunday in Shildon. Uh, get yourself there and donate into the Sir Bobby Robson Foundation and the Gary Parkinson Trust if you can. But yes, earlier I spoke to AJT on this and this is what he had to say. Listen, I'll give you a borough side and give you an normal side, but the borough side is at the moment we're not in the same division, so at the moment it isn't going to affect me based on results if we play each other. Um, on a normal side, the way that the Premier League's going right now, you need the money to compete in that league, otherwise it just gets absolutely ridiculous. Mm. I think it's probably a wise decision to what Newcastle have done by bringing in this sort of potential millionaire owner because at the end of the day, as I said before, the, you know, listen, the Premier League is getting that ridiculous to try and compete with. It literally is insane. Like, if you've not got the money that likes of, I don't know, Liverpool, Man City have got, etc., then you're not going to be able to compete and get anywhere near sort of Europe sort of if you want to get that sort of aim. So on a world sort of football, you can see why Newcastle did it as a Borough fan. It's annoying because of <laughs> to myself, if you suddenly go and become this great team, then for us, of course, it isn't sort of a great look for us, but at the same time, I can see why you've done it, and it's probably a wise move. But look, at the end of the day, Mike Ashley, I don't know how you guys feel. Well, well to be fair, I kind of yeah, do. Yeah. I do know. I do know how Newcastle fans feel, and I know for a long time now. I mean, you wanted the club in sort of someone else's hands. I sort of had control of it, and sort of had an idea. And this guy's idea now is to bring in 350 million or whatever it may be to try and boost you. Then a fair play to you, like. 
So those are the thoughts of AJT and it is exciting. It is hard not to get your hopes up, isn't yeah. it? It's um, it's such a big time, isn't it, for, for Newcastle fans? And what might this mean for Newcastle in the next few years? As I say, if if, it, if the takeover does happen, I mean, I'm not going to say it's going to happen or not. I'm mm. not going to put myself on a limb like that. Yeah. But if it does happen, it's just it, me, for me. It's just Mike Ashley's not here anymore. Great. What's next? <laughs> so like, I'm 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 very happy about that as a fan. I'm sure a lot of people watching are as well. I mean, everyone's looking over with. Looking over at this take, these takeover talks with keen eyes and see see how it, see how it rolls out there. And at the time of recording, that is the latest on the takeover story. There there will be more developing from this story. Make sure you keep uh, a watch out on Newcastle Fans TV. We'll have the latest, and we'll see you later.